It is June 1st, and let's talk about the tropics here across the Atlantic because, you know, it, it, June 1st, yeah, we typically don't have any storms out there, but we do have some tropical waves we're often keeping an eye on. And as we look ahead throughout the entire season, well, there is that chance of an above average tropical season here in the Atlantic. That's according to multiple agencies. So I'm meteorologist Robert Spella, and this is Talking Tropics. Let's get into it. All right, first off, let's take a look at, uh, well, this. It is June 1st, zero days to the start of hurricane season. Now, in the eastern Pacific, it did start on May 15th, and they've already had a named storm system, Elvin, as of recording this, uh, just off the west coast of Mexico. Now, that thing did fall apart before coming on shore, so no worries for them or anything. But if we take a look at our forecast, you know, this is from multiple agencies. We got C CSU, CAC, and NOAA. CSU and NOAA being the ones that uh, a lot of people see here. And you can see both of them, and really, all of them uh, expected above average that number listed on the left uh, and ns is named storms so tropical storms or higher hurricanes and then your major hurricanes cat three or higher uh, and it, the number i really want you to keen in on is yeah there's more named storms but it is that major hurricane one five last year uh by the way we we did get up to that number and it's the major ones that rapidly intensify, especially prior to landfall, are the chief concern, especially when they change in climate, warmer sea surface temperatures. Uh, it's not so much more named storms that are going to be the big issue. It is those rapidly intensifying ones that become these major storms that are definitely the problem. Uh, we've seen that last year with Helene and Milton. It just blew up really quick. And that's the type of stuff that can catch people off guards and you can get into these dangerous situations. And always remember, it only takes one, right? So now is the time here on June 1st. If you have not already prepared some stuff like this, your home, make sure you get your insurance checkup. Maybe just take a couple photos of your house to uh, prove the stuff you own looks the way it does it sounds really silly but insurance companies always do their best uh to um uh you know not give you all of the money i got this graphic from our friends over at wtsp in tampa that's why it says 10 on the top left good uh naming structure here for 2024 that was last year's storms 2025 was the uh one i wanted to show but it's fine first name is andrea uh, so that's uh, it, what we could be looking at. Elvin was on the west, uh, the eastern Pacific, the west coast. This is your water temperature, though, into the mid-80s all across the Gulf. Uh, there's some spots here about 85, and this is June 1st. Uh, we peak in, in water temperature into late August, September, where I wouldn't be surprised if we get in the mid-high 80s. 80s what you need, what we have colored in red, for a tropical storm to form. Uh, anytime you get warmer than 80, uh, that is just more energy, more fuel for the fire, as I like to call it. Uh, basically, like you take gasoline and throw it on a fire, that is like 90 degrees or above. And wow, we're already climbing up to that number, which goes back to that rapid intensification uh, issue when we start to get to that peak of season. Now, right now, we're still at the beginning. There's nothing out there in the next seven days, about 10 to 15. So this is something I have seen being shared a lot on social, and I, I'll admit, I'm looking at it myself. We do have some long-range guidance. This is the GFS 10 days out, so we're going way, week and a half into the future, but look at that. Something spinning around the Yucatan. The long-range guidance has been swinging for a landfall even beyond this somewhere along the Gulf Coast. Now, this is one model, and it has been kind of all over the place, but it has been indicating tropical development. On the other hand, the ECMWF, this is our friends out of Europe. They put out this guidance 10 days out. It doesn't really show much here at all. You really you, you can't see anything there compared to what the GFS is showing. So the point is, it's one of those things where, yeah, we're looking at it, but we're not going to be raising alarms. We're not going to be screaming that a tropical system's coming yet. Right now, keeping an eye on it, and that it goes back to the fact that it is hurricane season here on June 1st, and we're always watching the long-range outlooks because the models are going to sometimes pick up on things and try to spin stuff up. The key thing we have to look for, and if you're curious, like it, 
Um, when would we be confident of maybe a storm forming or not? You really need an area of convection and you need kind of a closed low level circulation. So the models can ingest some good initializing data. If you don't have initializing data, it's almost like these guidances are looking into a crystal ball and taking a couple different, uh, you know, uh, factors. And sometimes those factors collide and the butterfly flaps its wings and it spits out a full on hurricane. So it's one of those things that's why, you know, at the 10 day mark, despite what you see on social and you're seeing posts everywhere about this type of stuff, um, we still are watching and monitoring because those models can back off. And uh, the number one thing we want from you is to, is your trust. And we don't try to put stuff out there ahead of time, but as early as possible and accurately as possible. Uh, this is for this week though, Tuesday and Wednesday. We do have a little, not a tropical low, but almost a, a little tropical wave, if you will. Going to bring some showers along the uh, south, southern and east coast of Florida, including the Jacksonville area. So it may not be a full on hurricane, but you know, we're getting to that time of year where tropical moisture does get picked up, pull towards the north, and you get these days of like scattered showers and thunderstorms and everything like that. So, you know, we got uh, a, a few areas to watch already here on June 1st, but it is still on the watch phase of things. Once again, though, it is June 1st. Here at the First Coast Weather Team, we're going to keep you posted. And we're going to be doing a lot more of these streams on FCN+. Plus. So tell your friends, tell your family, especially when the storm is going to hit. I mean, you've watched this whole video, so you're, you're, you're an engaged person. But I want to make sure everybody around you is staying safe. And ahead of a storm, we are going to be streaming, keeping you posted all tropical season long. And we're going to try to put out these uh, updates for Talking Tropics as often as possible so you can stay weather aware. And that's the key thing. That's our job, right? So we want you to stay safe out there. All right. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Enjoy your day.